Rivers. He is apparently still trying to recruit a free agent to join him. Reportedly has visited with Kawhi Leonard during this Sixers-Raptors series. This is rumors swirled that the team is considering trading him. Nick, can LeBron convince a free agent to join him with everything that's going on right now in well, Los Angeles? Well, it's the Lakers' only hope, and right now it's the only thing the Lakers have going for him. And it's why yesterday, even though I think it would be good for LeBron potentially if he got traded, good for his basketball career, it's why yesterday I was so just beside myself with the idea that they would want to trade him. Right now, in the entire Lakers organization, who is the only person they employ that we are certain is even good at what they do? It's him. Yeah, I mean, I'm, not, I'm yeah. not certain they have another player on their roster that is an above average NBA player. I'm not certain they have a coach on their roster because they don't yeah. have any coaches. They, I don't know if Palinka's is good at what he does. Mm -hmm. I know the Rambi are not good at what they do. <laughs> and, and Jeannie Buss has proven nothing aside from her ability to make sure the Lakers continue to do what they've always done. Not win, but make money. So LeBron is what the Lakers have going for Outside him. of the logo, Los Angeles Lakers, with that basketball on it, one of the most glorious logos that you ever see in any sport. LeBron James is the best asset that they have. And I, the, when it comes to recruiting, I, I would imagine LeBron knows he needs to be involved. He had said during the season, I've always tried to play with great because players. Because who else is out there? He, Linda Rambis? Like, who's going to be recruiting if not LeBron James and if not right now? And I, LeBron has stayed out of the coaching situation, yep. maybe to the Lakers' detriment. I, I hope I'm not divulging something you're not supposed to divulge, but I'm just going to say it. Yeah, I, go right when, ahead. when the Ty Lue news came out, I immediately rich, reached out to Rich Paul, LeBron's agent, and I just texted him, what the bleep? And his response was very simple, staying out of it, we are not involved, came here to play basketball. Meaning that there, there mm -hmm. was, they were totally hands off on this. Be, I, maybe because it's the right thing to do, maybe it's because of the criticism they've received in the past, I don't know. But Rich wouldn't lie to me on that regard, so I believe him. I also believe they know it is critical that they get another star and the only real cachet they have is LeBron, because there's a team that can offer the same weather with a better coach, a better infrastructure, mm -hmm. and the same money in the Clippers. So if they are going to get a star, I, people have phrased this as, if they don't get a star, it's an indictment on LeBron. I look at it the other way. If they do get a star, it's only because of LeBron. Because why else would anyone, Kawhi, Kyrie, Kimba, any of these guys right now even consider the Lakers if they didn't employ LeBron James? So give me the sales pitch. You're LeBron James, you go see Kawhi or KD or Kemba or anyone else that you think that you, you might want to bring in. What's the sales pitch besides come play with me? Well, I think the, the, the fact that Kawhi, him and LeBron don't know each other that well. So I think Kawhi being a little more familiar with LeBron, and I think that LeBron, in full disclosure, if he just tells him everything that's going on in Los Angeles, and if he tells Kawhi, man, I don't have anything to do with the coaching right now. Man, we're gonna get us a coach, but you and I, man, this is what we can do together. Part of it's about the Lakers, but part of it's about LeBron James being one of the greatest basketball players, and I think that Kawhi can identify with that because he came from Pop, he always talks about Pop, and he always talks about Tim Duncan and the influence. And I believe that LeBron can be that Tim Duncan type guy. And the reason why Kawhi could thrive in San Antonio, it wasn't just the San Antonio system, how they started him out from the free throw line, shooting, working on his, his form and posture. Then they started him out three feet away from the bucket. LeBron knows all that. So Kawhi appreciates basketball, but he appreciated being in the shadow of San Antonio and Pop and Tim Duncan. He would be able to have that with LeBron in yeah. Los Angeles. He wants to go to California. So I believe that LeBron has all the intel on the Lakers. And I just believe it would mean something to Kawhi and his people to be able to sit down and talk to LeBron. And, and if there's some things that Kawhi and them might be apprehensive about, that they can sit there and talk man to man. I believe that Kawhi is the type of person 
that have such a respect for certain things. And I believe he has a lot of respect for LeBron James and some of the stuff on the outside, like you don't know what's true and what's not true. And I just believe that talking to LeBron and the reason why Kawhi took that meeting, because Kawhi made a choice. And he don't have to talk to LeBron. Correct. Like, he made a choice to be able to talk to one of the greatest basketball minds that we have ever seen and the potential of them partnering up. And I believe it's real. And the, the other element is what's the sales pitch? The sales pitch for LeBron plus to it, Kawhi or any of these other guys, you have to cater it to their personality. But the basketball pitch is we win a title. That with the NBA going where it's about to go, which is where it was a decade prior, which is two great players is what you need to be right there. Mm -hmm. And you look at, assuming KD leaves, the Warriors are going to have two great players. The Rockets are going to have Harden plus a supporting cast. The Bucks have Giannis plus a supporting cast. We look, we look around, the, the, the Sixers yep. hope they have two great players. The, 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 right now, the Nuggets have Jokic plus a supporting cast. It's no longer you need to have, assuming KD leaves, a super team. You need to have either a great player with a perfectly built roster around him, like I think they have in Houston, like I think they have in Milwaukee, or two spectacular players that can lift the roster around them like they are right now going to have mm -hmm. to do in Golden State, like they would have to do in Los Angeles. And so that's the other sales pitch. We will play in relevant basketball games into May and June. Come join me, let's do it. All right, take a break there. Coming up is James Harden's legacy on the line this weekend. This is First Things First. Did I convince you? I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> well, on a team, we should make a team. No. I haven't talked about my golf game, but I got a pretty good handicap. Oh, there is no <laughs> doubt that we're way. Listen, it's just Let's like an athlete. handicap. It's, just, it's life. <laughs> Two athletes doing this show, Dana. You know. That's all. Go ahead. Let's yeah, talk about the basketball. Your AT and T wake up call. From one athlete to another. The Warriors announced that they will be without Kevin Durant for the rest of this Rocket series as he recovers from a right calf strain. He could return for the Western Conference Finals if the Warriors advance. CC, can the Warriors still win the series without KD? They still can. I mean, because the, their margin of error, man, for what um, Houston's got to be able to do, they can do it. They got two of the best shooters in the history of the NBA. With the three-point line, Draymond has lost like 20 pounds since midseason. Iguodala's playing amazing basketball. What will their reserves do? And can Houston make it tough enough on them tonight to force some of that fatigue in game number seven? I mean, can they? Vegas thinks Kevin Durant is so incredibly important to the Warriors that the Warriors fell all the way to the favorites to win the title. I mean, they are so, <laughs> this is, can they? Yes, of course they can. Also, though, we have heard Vincent Goodwill talk about how the Warriors, if Kevin Durant leaves this summer, could try to reshuffle some things. We've heard other people report the Warriors might be hesitant to give Klay Thompson the full max. Opportunity for oh. Clay and Draymond to announce to everyone, hey, we are championship caliber like even without him. Pay us both. Clay this year, Draymond next year. So big moment for two-thirds of the core that won their first title. Steps are Man, obviously already gotten there. made. Sixers beat the Raptors in game six last night, 112 to 101. Jimmy Butler led the way with 25 points, while Joel Embiid and Ben Simmons had bounced back performances. Nick, what do you think wins game seven? I got to go with the home team. I, I, to be fair, I thought Toronto would close them out last night. Yeah, talk Phil, me into Philly, it. Too. Philly came out me so much. with total desperation. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I was on a hot streak until last night. Philly came out with total desperation. And yeah. Ben Simmons, little Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde situation here. When Ben Simmons plays with that sense of urgency, when they get stopped and they can get out running, mm -hmm. they are a totally different team. It was the first time we'd seen Ben Simmons like that this whole series. Yeah, two of their big three, Jimmy Butler, him, and Joel Embiid, mean Jimmy Butler and Ben Simmons both can be very aggressive if they play at a faster pace. Brett Brown needs to be able to come up with some concepts in game number seven that they can do that a lot like, a lot like game number six, potentially might be saving his job, Nick. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go to the Western Conference now. Blazers forced a game seven with a 119 to 108 win over the Denver Nuggets. Damian Lillard and CJ McCollum combining for 62 points. Nick, game seven, Sunday, who do you got? 
Well, if the Blazers are going to win, they need Dame and CJ to combine not for 62, but probably 72. They need both of them to be exceptional. Denver had the best home record in the league this year. Yep. They already won a game seven in that building a couple weeks ago. So while fatigue could be a mm -hmm. factor given they are now in back-to-back -back seven game series, so difficult to win game sevens on the road, they would need Dame and CJ to be exceptional. But they might have unlocked a little something with these Zach Collins minutes. Rodney Hood was really good once again. Zach Collins stepping in for Al Farouk Aminu. That was a good adjustment by Terry Stotts in a must-win game. Yeah, I thought Portland would be able to get it done in game number six. It's been that kind of series. And Dame and CJ haven't played outstanding together. together. So if you see them play outstanding together, which they did last night, they were able to get it to force a game number seven. I like your point as far as San Antonio getting that win against that type of franchise, that type of coach, because this young team has zero experience. I believe that will pay dividends for them on Sunday.